in the 70s, uh, the law changed from 21 to 18. And you know, there were a few of us that uh, had fall birthdays and got to vote in November. And that was exciting. And I truly believe most people still feel that excitement of going to vote. And I know that some of you don't believe that there are people that have restrictions and inabilities to get to a place, but not everybody has a car. And we'll probably talk about that down the road in the next bill, too. But not everybody does. Not everybody has a driver's license. And if they, you know, don't have that, I guess you don't want them driving, right? That'd be illegal. So I, I truly believe that the intent of wanting to vote doesn't go away just because you have a barrier. The idea of wanting to participate in the process and elect your representative doesn't go away just because you're old. It doesn't go away just because you live in, you know, a, a, a more of a difficult area to get to places. And it doesn't change if you work a county and a half away and you want to vote and you have trouble getting to the polls because of that. And it's nice that we had these wonderful um, drop boxes. We had all that excitement, especially in the pandemic. People would go and they'd even take a picture of themselves putting their um, uh, ballot in the drop box. They were excited about this. People are still excited about it. It doesn't matter how the elections turned out. I'm not exactly happy with everything that's happened. I don't like being in the minority, but you know, that's how the election turned out. But it is important to know that it happened and it was legitimate, there was integrity, and it was important that people got to vote. But we've come a long way from the 70s. We're more restrictive now in this bill. You would think we'd move forward. Senator Mathis had an amendment to make us move forward. I mean, there's all these wonderful slogans on campaigns about forward, forward. That's who we should be. We should be bold. We should be talking about how to encourage participation, how to bring people in, how to bring young people in. I don't think there's much in this bill that says, hey, young person, get involved in, in Iowa and participate and want to be a part of the, the process. I don't think people think that it is all, you know, that it, it is a it is a bad thing the way um, the voting has been. I have heard more people email me than say, I voted absentee this time and I liked it. Or I've been voting absentee and I really like that. When I started to vote, absentee was only if you couldn't be there on election day. So we've opened these opportunities for people, for people who work out of state, for people who work in different counties, for people with a disability. I mean, come on, let's put a hand down for people and help them up so they can actually vote. Wouldn't that be great? We do not want to just say it is only for elite people to do this. People with wealth, people with opportunities. It should be for everyone. And I truly believe that's what we should be doing. We all have Iowa values. We have values that believe that people should be, you know, treated equal. We have good substantial ideas that while we may disagree, we may have the same values. I don't believe this bill is about that. I think that in many cases, it is an arrogance of not showing that. And it disappoints me because I think we're better than that. I urge you not to support Senate File 413.